A serious heart condition once only fixed with open heart surgery is now being repaired with a much simpler, less invasive procedure. Only here on 41 Action News reporter Josh Helmet spoke with a patient who's also a former baseball star who was just thrilled to avoid the knife. A walk into Fred Kipp's basement wow. reveals a rich and proud history. That's Pee Wee Reese and Gil Hodges and myself. Kip is believed to be the last living person to have played for the Dodgers in Brooklyn and L.A. and for the New York Yankees. That's Yogi and, and uh, Don Larson. I've seen that game in 56. The Pickway, Kansas native, now lives in Overland Park. He'll be 86 in October. And after throwing his last professional pitch 57 years ago, he doesn't plan on slowing down anytime soon. Poor sidewalk. I got had three guys work for me. But the former Dodger couldn't dodge what his heart was throwing him in May. About the size of a quarter, that valve is, and it was down about that big. Doctors diagnosed Kip with aortic stenosis, a narrowing of the aortic valve in his heart. Transcatheter aortic valve replacement may be better uh, early on, but only if we can replace it through the leg. Kip qualified to undergo transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR. TAVR has traditionally been a last resort for high-risk patients. It's open-heart surgery, but now... Doctors have found even with intermediate risk patients like Kip, overall risks are the same when replacing the valve through a catheter up the leg. Only the recovery time is exponentially faster. They don't need to be put under general anesthesia. They don't need to be put on a breathing machine. They're sedated. We do the procedure and they're awake. They're talking to their family as they leave the procedure room. Instead of weeks of recovery following open heart surgery, Kip was back home the next day. You feel great? Yeah, well, I feel. Yeah, every bit is good, probably a little better than when before I had the procedures. TAVR has only been approved for roughly six years. The hope is that performing TAVR on low-risk patients will become the new standard for aortic valve replacement. St. Luke's is currently enrolling in a clinical trial to accept low-risk patients now, and Kip thinks it's a huge win. Do this. Do it this way. Josh Helmuth, 41 Action News. KU Hospital is also joining a separate clinical trial to perform, perform that on low-risk patients. The Royals will play the Dodgers in L.A. this weekend, and Kip says he will be rooting for the Royals. Wow.